We've seen interesting data at this meeting that, that um, I think certainly adds complexity to the questions. Um, firstly, we've seen data from the Aracens trial, uh, which has mirrored prior data from piece one um, and suggests that there may be value uh, in combining uh, in patients starting androgen deprivation therapy, chemotherapy with docetaxel, and a novel hormonal agent. So the Aracens trial did this with darolutamide. What's challenging about the data is that they took patients who uh, were commencing androgen deprivation and docetaxel for, for a metastatic hormone-sensitive disease and then randomized uh, to whether what they also received darolutamide, a new, new hormonal agent, uh, or placebo. And the trial is strongly positive. It had 1,300 patients. It shows survival advantage. All the secondary endpoints are positive. Um, the problem with interpreting it is that most patients in the UK are not receiving docetaxel in this setting these days. They're receiving a novel hormonal agent, so abiraterone or enzalutamide or apalutamide potential options um, depending on, on access. So the question now rises of, you know, should we take this data and justify giving triple therapy? I think probably we'll start to think about what subsets of patients justify that intensification of treatment. One could think perhaps of high volume disease, aggressive presentations of disease, perhaps de novo metastatic disease, but I think these are going to be points that we're going to have to debate quite seriously. Um, and I suspect most people in the UK will feel this isn't an option for all comers.